Hello and welcome back guardians to another video. Uh, today we're going to talk about how to level up quickly and not to be stuck at your 610. And the reason I say 610 is a couple of people mentioned this to me like, why is your light level at 640 plus and you know we're still stuck at 610, like what am I doing wrong, what am I doing different? Pretty much I'll, I'll try and explain it the best way I can like what I've done to reach this light level on pretty much all my like on all my three characters. Um, to start off this is what your map looks like in the beginning on, on Tuesday. If you haven't done your dailies then you know your dailies are still up. You get your weeklies refreshed and the place where you want to start playing um, is to skip these. Skip these three right here. Uh, also skip this one for now. Uh, and start off straight away in the Dreaming City. In the Dreaming City, the first thing you want to go on and do Welcome back. is this one here. The story. You get one story every week. You can do it. Uh, and this is something that is going to boost your light level up by quite a bit. Because it's not, it's not only by two... Um, it's I think if I'm if I'm correct it's by five. The next thing you want to do is also th this one here. This will take you two days. I get that because you need to do eight bounties and you only get five per day. So you will do like half of this one. Uh, the next thing is ascendant challenge. Uh, there's a lot of guides how to go through an ascendant challenge. Pretty easy. Um, without it being hard and honestly at this point where you're already above 600 because like 610, 608 or something doesn't matter um, this shouldn't be that hard anymore this is something you can easily do with a team combined if you if you do this um, you do this one as well the gate wall between uh, worlds uh, for the uh, that's the one where you go into the blind wall uh, you will get eventually one this on the second day, two, three, and then Petra, if you finish this one here, will give you an additional bounty to clear these two weekly bounties. That's that's a good four um, powerful engrams that you need. Queen's Once you've done those four, and hopefully you get gear out of this, because where you can get guns is the forge. The forge is the place basically where you can go and get guns, and it's a secondary and a heavy, which is actually good. Um, is what you can go and do. You could go, if, if you get all, like, I would say this, if all four pieces actually drop you uh, a piece of gear, and a different piece of gear, I would straight go to the forge. Uh, the reason why is because your guns are now on the lower side, and your armor is on the higher side, so you want to get your guns up as well, which will bring your light level up. And then, you know, your primary will still be open and, you know, maybe another couple of places in your gear, like two pieces of gear or three pieces of gear, that you can still get some higher light level stuff. The next thing you could go and do, if you still need some extra luck, is the spider bounty. That should be your next step. Just go on and do the spider bounty. This will also increase your light level by a lot. It's it's a really important one. Don't, don't skip on that one. Once you finish that, the next thing you want to go and do is the um, the adventure. I always do the adventure, but I'm skipping on the uh, flashpoint, and I'll come back to that one. Why why I'm doing it? So once I've done that that all, um, I'll see what what I still need. I would definitely and highly recommend run this raid, the Lazarus raid. If, if you can get a team together, uh, definitely run this. This will probably bump your light level up by a lot. If, if not, you'll probably end up being a 625 already. And I'm talking about someone that's probably a 605 would actually, after doing all these things, should end up being a 625-ish. Like you'll be close to it or even above it. And that, again, comes down to RNG, which, you know, you can't control it. So... But if you skip on the raid, uh, because for some good reasons, like, hey, I'm a solo player, I don't I don't play with other players, um, uh, that's something I'm not doing, that's fine, I get that. A lot of players are out there, all they want to do is do their own stuff, and on their own, just have their own fun. And there's nothing wrong with that, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. The only thing that there is for you there, if you're a solo player, 
you will level up a bit uh, slower than someone that's doing um, uh, activities with other players because there's a lot of stuff that's, that they can earn there. So by all means, if you're a solo player, you just have to live with the fact that, you know, it will take you an extra two weeks before you'll reach what someone did because they did something um, with other players. But a move on that, once you're done doing those things, that's basically when you move on and start doing your dailies. Because now your dailies are way more viable. If you, if you leave these open, these will actually be some good light level bumps instead of you doing these first. Because if you do these first in the beginning, they only give you a plus two light. And since your light level is already low, it doesn't matter if you're 610, the gun or the piece of armor you'd get would be a 612. But since your light level is way higher now, because some pieces are way higher, and some pieces are still on the lower side, but really low, uh, I'm talking about 6-7 lights lower than your, your, um, your combined light level. If, for example, if your gauntlets are still low, your, your legs are still low, that's fine, because now these small things will give you big bumps because of this light level is way higher already than this and the plus two comes by uh, this is how it goes if 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 this is if this would have been and I'm just it's just an example um, let's pick a piece of armor here there we go three uh, this is 600 um, and this is this is my let, let's say for example this is my luck I got I got my guns already I have a helmet at 647 a gun at 650 but I'm stuck, I never got a chest, you know, it's 600 still, uh, legs and, and tights marked in a good place. And then my light level is like 642. If I get a chest plate right now, that would be a 644. And, and that's what I mean by if, if I get lucky out of those uh, smaller things like Crucible, Vanguard or Gambit, this could be a way a high level bump than the plus two. Like normally, it would have been uh, if everything is if if everything is exactly the same, then it's only a plus two. Uh, right now, if I equip this, then let's say you can go beyond the 650. And this is just an example again because I have to go lower. Uh, this would have been a 651 then for something that would drop if it makes any sense. So you're skipping those smaller ones to get more benefit out of it, and not to do them straight away because they can benefit you in a better way than it's already benefiting you um also not to uh not to forget you have some stuff you can do over here obviously if you're not in a clan again you're skipping on something that could bump your light level up and that is hawthorne so if you're skipping on hawthorne again because you're not in a clan you know lost it it's a loss there but you can always do the Ikora bounties, which uh, which will give you a good, powerful piece of gear. Um, skipping on that is forges. Now, uh, like I said, even if you're a solo player and you've done your stuff in the Dreaming City and everything, now you should be able to go through the forges easily because now you're probably around your 620, six, um, and that depends on like your luck. But the 620 is an easy clear in the forges and the forges is actually that's that's a pretty good thing again the forge will actually and i'm talking about the one on earth not the one on nessus because i can't i get it maybe the one on Nessus is still hard because it's still new um but the one on earth is easy doable if you do the one on earth you can also get a powerful piece of gear after doing two uh, weekly bounties for Ada, she will also drop you a piece of gear after you've done two weapon frames. So, so pretty much there's a lot of things you can do as long as you combine them in the right way. What I'm trying to say is, do the higher level stuff first. See where you need to fill in a gap. If you need to fill in a gap, that's when you come down to these ones. As long as you don't have to do them, skip on them. Just skip on them until the end. And if you pretty much clear everything, and your light level is still like you know everything is around the same then by all means you know clear these an extra two light levels it's always good after that what you want to do is transfer over the guns to your next character and then go through the same things again you know start them off over there 
and and pretty much your li your last le your last character my bad your last character should probably end up if you still have these things open up this week should probably end up being a 635 already if not higher if you get really lucky you could even hit a 640 645 um, and this this comes down to if if you're doing rates if you're not doing it you're skipping on rates bad thing it's a really bad thing because you're losing light levels and a lot but I hope this video helps you guys out and if you're still stuck on something and you just can't see uh, why you're not leveling up by all means leave them down in the comments below and uh, but explain to me like if you've done them in this way or you're doing it in a different way because that could make a big difference in why you're not leveling up and someone else is so I hope this helps out uh, if it does likes much appreciated uh, you still stuck leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys on my next video